Irene. You need to pray very serious. Yes, my God. Because I'm seeing. I don't know if you'll understand me if I speak by my own language. You are in a cage. Yes, man of God. Uh, whatever you are trying to do, nothing works for you. It's true. And now, nowadays, you don't even sleep. It's true. Because I'm seeing you try to better to sleep. This come, this come, this come. You are asking yourself why my life is like this. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. Uh, uh, but I know the person who did that to you. Yes, man of God. Mm, there was a lady, you were involved with a lady, a short lady like this. Yes, man of God. Huh? And this lady did something, slept with you, and put something in herself. Yes, man of God. And since then, it also affected your private. Yes, man of God. Uh, you are very weak here. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. And then everything that you are trying to do is not working also. Yes, man of God. So you are in a cage, but from today, if I touch you here, you'll be free. Bring him. And he has not fallen down, isn't it? Yes. Because he has not been touched to a right place. He's free. <laughs> Sir, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also confirm the prophecy that you received today? I'm uh, Thomas Mbowen, all the way from Limpopo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I came today to the service and I received a prophecy that I am weak as a result uh, of uh, doing something in the past years and uh, that something is in my body and then I was prayed for and I received my deliverance. I feel so happy that uh, I received prophecy and the deliverance at the same time. At least now I'll be having a, a energy to pray because I think it was affecting my prayers. Yes. Words of encouragement to the viewers out there. I will encourage them that it's, it's good that one must seek the face of God and uh, in order to seek deliverance and prayer from other men of God. It's very important as a child of God.